Up YouTube. So this video today, well, I want to have a chat with you all about my three core principles that I try and stick to when I'm looking at either quoting a job or evaluating customers present or future. And I think if you've got a in quotes sort of core principles, well, you can do the same and it is a very useful tool. It's very useful for evaluating your customers past and present. Uh, I've been thinking about this and I've been thinking, well, you know, if you're so inclined, you could literally apply a, you know, out of 10 score to each one of these core principles. So there'll be roughly 40 because there's four, but there's actually just three. And then you can apply it to every job you do, whether it's past or present, and then you can use that to sort of evaluate, well, is this worth it for me? Is this worth it, you know, for the customer? Uh, you know, should I keep them? Should I get rid? Should I take this job? Should I take this job? Uh, and I like to try and keep things as simple as possible, not just in business, but in life. So the first core principle, very simple, I've got to be satisfied slash motivated to do the job. You know, I don't want to take a job on and regret it. Uh, you know, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to be leaping in excitement for every job. I've just took on a cutback of uh, ivy, and I'll be honest with you, I hate working with the stuff because it has my chest. So I always have to sort of mask up when I do it. So get a proper face mask, not like a, you know, paper jobby and it's just horrible stuff but i took the job on because one it's going to be an interesting youtube video uh two it's helping this customer out it's helping her out you know she's a good customer uh well it's a relative of a good customer so i want to help her she's had an hard time and i've done her a good price as well it's not going to be a sob story video at all uh it's just you know it's hopefully it'll be interesting so you know looking forward to doing that uh but probably without those two reasons, probably want to toot the job on if I'm being honest with you. You'll see what I mean when I get into it. Now all of these are interchangeable. There'll be some aspects where, you know, you might not be super excited to do the job. You know, it might not be, you know, what you want to do. But like I said, the others will outweigh it. So as much as this job isn't cash dense, or it's not going to be cash dense, at the same time, I want to I want to do it because it's going to be interesting and I want to help it, help the customer. Uh, but the job itself is relatively easy and relatively straightforward. And it's a right, you'll get what I mean as I get going. So I've got to be happy, I've got to be motivated, I've got to want to do the job. If I'm dreading it or I'm now I don't want to do this, then it's not the right fit for me. The next one is the job has got to be financially rewarding. Now this is, an, this is, as I said, these are my core principles. So I know what I need to break even or make on a job. I've got a rough hourly figure in my head. Even though I don't give the customer that hourly figure, you know, I want to be covering it. So I'll look at a job and I'll think to myself, right, it's going to take me, I think it's going to take me two, you know, three hours at most. So I'm going to apply my hourly charge to that. Oh, I want a bit of profit for the business. So I'll put a little bit of extra on. Is it, you know, am I dry, you know, extraordinary circumstances? Oh, put a little bit on for this, a little bit on for that. And that's how I get to my price, if I'm being honest with you. I don't just think, oh, grass cutting, you know. I don't get a wheel out and measure the lawn and say, oh, this lawn's 50 square metre, it's 30p a metre, whatever. This is your price. I don't do anything like that. You get a sense and a feel for it or, well, I've got a sense and a feel for it, in air quotes. So, like I said, it's got to be financially rewarded, and that's very subjective. Uh, but it is, you know, it is as simple as it sounds. Uh, there's no point, but as I said, this other job, it's probably not as financially rewarding as it could be. But because I'm helping her out, it's an interesting job. I'll get a YouTube video out of it. You know what I mean? It's scoring high, don't get me wrong. YouTube for me is a hobby. I don't look at every job and think, oh, I'll do this because it's interesting. 
you know i can certainly ring up some previous customers that are nightmares to work for and get some good nightmare stories but i don't want that bloody stress if i'm being honest with you so there's that and then the next two are actually do some with the lighting the next two is one but it's two subjects really and that's why we got to 40 points so the job has got to be the right fit or suitable or within my wheelhouse as Sam as in me doing the actual job so if it's risky dangerous sketchy not interested so if a customer said okay oh, cut this hedge uh, you know you can't get ladders in can't get access how did you cut it oh I climbed on the wall not for me uh, you know, and I, I remember I quoted there was one years and years and years ago, and you had to go up two sets of steps, and the hedge was above it, so it was really high. This hedge, and I said, "How did you do the top of it?" Because it was like out on like a bit of a ledge. He says, "Well, I used to tread on that tree stump, and then lie on top of the hedge, and then scoop my way across." Fuck that! There's no way I'm doing that. I just about reached with my long reach. It was, you know, but I just know, you know what I mean? Anything that's anything that's a risk to me or my body, I'm not doing it. Uh, or a risk to a property, you know. It's like tree work. I always use tree work as a good example. If a customer has got a tree that's in the middle of a field or the middle of a garden, and whichever way it falls, it won't damage anything, I'll take it on. If it's on a borderline or it's next to a green out, no way. Even if it's got a heavy lean away from the greenhouse, no way. So the job's got to be right for me. And there's another thing as well, it's like uh, I had a call off a customer and part of it, he wanted somebody to come and tidy up, you know, his mother's garden. And part of the job was lifting slabs and just taking them away. That is something that I could do, but it was he said there's like 36 slabs and the big ones. So it's too much mauling for me. I don't want that. I don't want mauling heavy jobs. So, you know, I did pass a while. I says to him, I can do the garden, but I can't do the actual sort of, you know, the heavy lifting and the lumping, so to speak. Uh, and, you know, he, he did say, oh, I'll get somebody else. I want somebody to do it all. That's fine with me. As I said, other people would do it, but I've had hernias. I don't want another one, if I'm being honest with you. Just the same as if a customer says oh i need somebody to work to an hourly rate i don't do hourly rates anymore i don't offer hourly rates um i find you know even if it's the hourly rate that i want you know there's still going to be times where it's going to be an hour and a half and then you've got to do the two hours because then you're sort of losing money in your head don't want it uh just the same as if somebody rings up and says oh uh i've got a full day of weed and then it'll go to you know three hours every every other I don't, I don't want it at all I, I don't want the monotony of it and don't get me wrong me and weeding we have a bit of a love-hate relationship i do offer it i do enjoy doing it to a certain extent but it's the extremes i don't want to do the the big mauling weeding jobs or the big board no. and then so that's the right fit for me and my business then the next one is sorry for me as sam as a business owner and the person doing the actual work next one is it's got to be the right fit for my business as an sgm so if a customer rings up and says hi uh, we're after somebody to do two three days at my property um, well i'm not set up for I, I am but i'd have to give up a lot of work and you know unless it's a contract that's set in stone it's perfect i'm not interested just the same if someone rung up and said hey i've got a um, a paddock that needs mowing so ideally it's a ride on job uh, every two weeks would you be interested well at this point in time not really because I've got no other ride on jobs I haven't got the inkling to throw a few grand at a ride on so again I'd have to sort of pass on that uh, it's the same with just the same as if it's a bodge job so I've had it before where people have said oh could you come and just do a thrash back on my garden and just leave it there not interested i want to i don't want to be putting out substandard work or bodge jobs so that's my three core values uh, as i said there's compromises so like i said with that ivy job 
not going to be the best rewarding but it's going to it's got other things that you know bring the average up and that's what i meant to uh just the same as there might be a job that uh, you know i'll be honest with you i don't want to do it but it's financially worth it so the lower down is you know it all brings it up to an average and this is what i was saying about applying a point scoring system it's not perfect but data doesn't lie so if you've got say if you say like that instance i gave you earlier someone rings you up and says hi you know joe blogs garden services uh we've got a you know a load of properties that need looking after there's two days work we're willing to give you a contract so you know that you have got it in cast iron and you can work in numbers but you've got in your head right i need to get rid of two days worth of customers you might think well actually i'm happy doing two you know i'm happy with them but it's a good opportunity for your business as much as it could be for mine so how would i go about getting rid of two days of work well you know part of it you'd want to lead with your heart part of it you'd want to lead with your head but if you think, right, I've got my core values, there's four of them. So value for money, enjoyment, right fit for me and my business. You know, that's four, give it 10 points each. And then go on a sliding scale of each one. And I reckon you'd soon work out which is your top, your middle and your bottom. And you'll get your two days gone then. As I said, it's, a, it's very impersonal, that approach. But data doesn't lie. Data... You know and numbers they don't take sides it takes the heart out of it and it also makes an easier decision for you so those are my three core values guys they're super simple uh, and like i said let me know what yours are that'd be really interesting have you got any core values do you use like system like that to look at customers or jobs let me know